It's just 6.30 in the morning, but the cooking fire is already going, like in millions of other Ugandan households. Grace Baguma is preparing peanuts for breakfast. Her children pitch in, including 21-year-old Wilfred. He's training to be an electrician and is the family's hope for a better future. I see that Wilfred is a good boy and my hopes are high for him. Something big is going to happen here. We'll get electricity and he'll help us. I can feel it. The family has no electricity, just a small patch of land and a few chickens. Wilfred is one of five children and luckily he's got a state scholarship to support his training. It's true that I bring for them electricity, more especially when I'm through with the, this certificate which I'm pursuing at the institute. And I get some work. When I'm, when I'm being paid, I will at least make sure that I've done something for them. Every morning, Wilfred Baguma walks almost four kilometres to school, nothing unusual in Uganda. At the technical school, young people can train for various professions, such as electrician or car mechanic. The electricity is out again today, so the students make do with manual tools. The sewing machines have also stopped. They need to get the generator up and running again. For the deputy headmaster, it's a familiar problem. You know, our, our power here is not stable. Uh, one day is on, one day, another day is off. And you know, it is power from very far, from Jagali, very far. So the distance is very, very, very long. So any instance along the way can affect our, our grid. That's why we're having a power unstable up country. The power supply is centrally controlled. It's expensive and in poor condition. One solution is to use local solar panels, but few schools can afford it. During their training, the budding electricians learn all they need to know about installation. Mariam Angayango wants to use her skills to help her family. She's already installed a solar panel at home. They gave us just freedom of not buying paraffin. So you don't waste any resources in other, other things. It's me to go and mount it, and I feel that, eh, let me go and do this, so that I can uh, gain that experience in mounting it. Electric ovens are a rarity in Uganda. Efficient use of firewood here is a big issue. A year ago, with the help of a South Korean bank and the Ugandan government, this school got a new oven. It uses 60% less firewood than the old one and requires less work to operate. The new oven is the best for me now. Fantastic. No smoke, no work. And I like it very much. It is fast in cooking, very fast, and you put very little firewood. Justine Akumu from the Ministry of Energy is visiting the school. She wants similar ovens to be installed across Uganda, some 15,600 in the country's schools alone. The deputy headmaster shows Akumu where she cooked before they got the new oven. I know deforestation is so bad. I mean, um, our rate of um, the percentage of forest that we have today in the country stands at 9%, um, you know, from 36% that we had about 15 years ago. So in the last 15 years, we've had a rate of deforestation at about, we've lost about 25% of our forest cover. It's so much. And if you look at the root cause of deforestation, it is harvesting wood for energy, for cooking energy, because we use wood as our primary source of energy for cooking in schools, at households, in, um, in restaurants, in all institutions, even in the industries as a source of, um, of, of process heat. Trees are felled everywhere, whether it be for charcoal or clearing large areas for agricultural land. 200 kilometres south of Kampala lies the new Africa Primary School. The school uses a lot of firewood. The headmaster says they can't afford a new oven. Justine Okumu tries to convince the headmaster to get one. She argues that it's possible for schools to take out loans with favourable conditions. 
So far, um, we've improved cookstoves. We've, able to, we've been able to construct uh, more than 100 cookstoves in education institutions, uh, whereby we've been, um, and this was on a demonstration basis, whereby we just wanted to create um, awareness about improved cookstoves, so we did demos across the country so that other schools within those regions can benchmark. But the school has already taken out a loan for solar panels to provide light in the bathrooms. There's also a light bulb hanging in the classroom now, the result of an initiative from the school, parents and community. Actually, actually, the government has no hand so far. We are struggling with loans to put up buildings like this one because we can't teach the children when they are outside. So what we do, we go to banks to get loans and put up classes so that children, Ugandan children, are able to access quality education. Like Mariam Angiyango, the young woman who, thanks to her good education as an electrician, was able to install one solar panel on the roof of her family home. Her family of 12 hopes there are more to come.